Hey besties, this is a quick video on how to add cut lines to your vector file in Adobe Illustrator. We'll do this by using offset, which makes your sticker one piece with a border around the whole thing. I have another video on cut lines using bleed, like this sticker, without the white border, so if you want that version, see the next video. But alright, offset, here we go. Here's my Aloha design. You can see that I have text with some graphic elements laid on top of it. So first I want to make sure I have my toolbars open. You want to have properties and pathfinder open. To do this, we go into window and select the ones that we need and it'll pop up right here. These are the two essential tools that I like to have open. First step to make cut lines, we'll need to select all the graphics. We want to duplicate this exactly right on top of each other so that the cut lines line up with the design. To copy and paste, you can either use the shortcut keys or go to the top clicking edit, copy, and paste in place. I'll move the duplicate just so that you can see that it's there. And then I'll just undo that to keep it right on top. And on the right, we'll go to the toolbar to click Unite underneath Pathfinder so that it makes everything one solid color. In the left toolbox, we'll swap this from a fill to an outline by clicking this swap arrow so that we can see the design underneath it. On the top, we'll click Object, Path, and then Offset Path. This line that's created gives us the white border around the whole thing. If you don't see what it looks like in real time, make sure Preview is checkmarked. You can change how thick you want it to be by increasing or decreasing this offset amount. And then I'll hit OK. See how everything kind of overlaps, especially where the coconut touches the H? We need to click Unite so that everything merges into one piece. And I'll pull this out just so you can see what that looks like. By double clicking this line, we can further edit this entire shape. You can see that there's still letters in here and I don't want it to cut the letters and the white outline. So I'll select the entire thing and then click Unite so that it's one piece. And I don't want any holes in my design, so I'll just click these pieces and delete them. Sometimes you have to double click into the shape, so be sure to do that if you can't select them for some reason. All right, we're all done with this offset. If I drag it out, you can see that I only have one piece so that when I peel it, it's just one single sticker. In order for your printer and VersaWorks to know that this needs to cut instead of print the outline, we need to assign the proper swatch. So go to Window on top again to open Swatches. This triple line symbol shows more options. Open Swatch Library, Roland Swatch Library, and then Roland VersaWorks. Make sure the correct line is selected and we'll assign the magenta cut contour swatch to this outline. If the whole shape turns magenta, that means you have it filled in. We'll quickly fix that. On the left toolbar, we'll swap this again by clicking the little arrows. And to remove the black fill, click this white box with the slash. That's it, that's your cut line. Minimize your artboard and save this as a PDF. It's ready for loading into VersaWorks.